Have you ever wanted to make your spreadsheet more automated but don't know how? Don't worry, I can show you. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Eric. In today's episode, I'll be teaching you how to use formulas inside Excel VBA to make your spreadsheets more automated. Let's get started. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can apply formulas from within Excel VBA to use on your worksheet. For this example, I'll be using a simple sum formula to get the totals from columns B to J and putting that into column K. You can use any formulas you like, like VLOOKUP, INDEX AND MATCH. Just for simplicity, I'll be showing you the SUM formula. As usual, we'll be starting off with the SUB, and then we'll be giving it a name. Next, we'll be declaring a variable, and the variable I'll be using is LAST ROW. And the reason for this is that we need to find out the last row in your data set. So let's dim LAST ROW as long. Next, we need to tell Excel what last row means. So last row equals sheet name. So in this case, my sheet name is sh formula dot cells. Next, we need to open the bracket. We need to type in rows dot count comma one. Close the bracket. And the reason for column number one is we need to tell Excel to look down column A. So one is A. You can also use two or three to indicate columns B or C, but in this case, I'll be using columns A. Next, we need to put in dot end, open bracket, Excel up, close the bracket, dot row. And the reason is that we'll be telling Excel to go start from the very bottom and then go up to the first cell with data. Next, to see if that's correct, we can start stepping through the formula. And then from here, we'll see last row is 63, and it matches with our last row in the data set, 63. OK, so here's a tip for you on how to declare variables. If you don't know what type to declare, you can always declare as a variant. Double click your variable, drag it down to your watch window. And then when you step through the code, Excel here will show you that it's a long. OK, so now we can start with the actual formula. So we'll start off with with sh formula dot range open bracket. And we're going to give it a header. So we'll go up to k1. So in brackets, K1, close the, com, close the bracket, dot formula equals, open quotes, total. Close the quote. And then the next line we'll do is dot range, open bracket, open quotes. We'll start with K2, colon to column K, close the quotes space the ampersand last row close your bracket we're going to do a dot formula next we're going to do equals open your quotes equals sum let's do your brackets b2 to j2 close the bracket close the quote next we're going to do end with all right, so now when we run this code with either F5 or the green play button, it's going to run the code. And as you can see here, the total here for row B is 723. And if we highlight all this, we can see that the total down here is 723. And the reason why we're using with sheet is because if we're on a different sheet, it'll still calculate properly. So if you run this again, go back to the sheet here, and you can see it ran. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video useful. If you liked it, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more episodes. See you next time.